हॅलो एव्हरी वन वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाईन अँड वी आर गोईंग टू स्टार्ट आर न्यू सब्जेक्ट दॅट इज रिसर्च मेथडॉलॉजी सो दिस इज द न्यू कोर्स दॅट वी आर गोईंग टू स्टार्ट फॉर पी एच डी एंट्रन्स एक्झामिनेशन टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी टू विच इज कॉल्ड ॲज पेट अँड दिस एक्झामिनेशन इज हेल्ड बाय पुणे युनिव्हर्सिटी ओके सो इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एम गोईंग टू टीच यू अबाउट introduction to research methodology that is it includes some basics of research then what are the objectives of research and all okay so yes so this research methodology subject is the most important subject for phd aspirants because in every type of phd entrance examination this subject is included so the pet phd entrance examination is going to held on 6th november 2022 and its application has been started from 15th september 2022 and it will be till 30th september 2022 so this research methodology subject is will be in this exam as this exam will be having two papers paper 1 and paper 2 so paper 1 includes research methodology and paper 2 includes subjects so for example if you are giving for biotechnology subject then in this criteria the subject will be biotechnology and the total marks for this examination is 100 marks so paper 1 carries 50 marks and paper 2 carries 50 marks and each question carries one mark and there is no negative marking no negative marking so this is the positive thing for all of us but still we have to work hard to crack this examination so the eligibility criteria for this examination is that the aspirant should completed his post graduation degree or the equivalent degree with 55% aggregate marks and for reserve category there should be 50% aggregate marks and there are other rules as well so for that you can go to the pune university website or else you can ask me in the comment box so for because all of these we are going to give a revision package and in this revision package we are going to provide full syllabus notes then mock test 1500 plus mcqs revision pdf and all these things will be only in 599 rupees only so for this you can download our global online app or else you can contact us on whatsapp okay so i am going to start with meaning of research then objectives of research motivation and utility of research so stay tuned with this video and if you haven't take pen and notebook with you then please take it and if you want to write down some notes then write them down so what is the meaning of research so research what is that so research means it is the search for knowledge it is the search for knowledge research is scientific and systematic search for relevant information on specific topic so if you are finding some information on a specific topic then it's scientific and systematic search for that specific information is the research so research is search for knowledge through objective and systematic method to find solution to a problem so as we saw in our first statement that whenever you are doing research then it has some objectivity or it has some systematic method to find a solution to a particular problem so yes so research is a systematic method and it includes what it includes it includes problem expression formulation of hypothesis collection and analysis of data then last one is conclusion so there is the expression of a particular problem 
it means that you have to uh, do some imagination you have to find out some problem and after that you are going to do imagination it means hypothesis then you you collect data you analyze data then after that you will be getting a conclusion on that data so all these things are in the research and it is the systematic method of doing all these things so this is called as research so research means whenever a person does all the activities to obtain knowledge of things which is unknown which is unknown is called as research okay so research is the original contribution to existing knowledge so it is the original contribution to the existing knowledge okay and after that you are making some changes in this ex existing knowledge so this is one kind of research so all these are the concepts about research so next is objectives of research so objectives means what are the aim of doing that particular thing so here objectives of research means the aim of doing the research okay and this research has its own specific purpose every research has it has its own specific purpose but still i have write down over here four points that is four objectives so first is to gain familiarity with a phenomenon or to achieve new ideas in it so whenever there is a particular phenomenon or thing so to get familiar with that phenomenon or to grab new ideas about that phenomenon is one of the objective of research and such type of research is come under exploratory or formulative types of research so yes i am going to teach you about the types of research as well but in the next video but now in this video just remember these are the some objectives of research second to describe accurately characteristics of a particular individual situation or group so whenever you want to describe characteristics of a, of an individual or the group of the individuals then it is one of the objective of your research it is called as descriptive type of research to determine the frequency of some things or of their relation to another things so to determine the frequency of for example uh, frequency of uh, someone doing some work so to determine that particular frequency so it is one of the objective of that research and even you are going to determine the frequency of the things related to another things so this will come under diagnostic type of research then fourth one to test hypothesis of causal relationship between variables okay so what are variables variables means things which has the values which are changing constantly and that's why we call it as variables so to get to know the relationship between two variables and for that you are uh, doing imagination so to test that imagination is the one of the objective of research and it will come under hypothesis testing type of research so these four are the main objectives of research okay then next is motivation in research so motivation means what things causes people to take research what things causes people to take research so this is the motivation so this is the motivation in research so first is to take research degree along with its benefit so some people want to take research degree and while doing that they also get benefits 
टू डिजायर टू फेस चैलेंज इन सॉल्विंग अनसोल्व प्रॉब्लम so someone has desire to face some kind of challenge whenever they are solving unsolved or the difficult problems then joy of creative work yes research is one of the creative work so someone takes joy then employment condition so it is the one of the employment condition for example if a uh, some scientist has the work of research so this is the their employment condition to understand causal relationships so to understand the relationship between two things okay so these are the some motivations of research there are some another as well for example respectability respectability then also social thinking social thinking then curiosity about new things curiosity then understand uh, the directives of government directives of government just write down these things so these are the some of the motivation in research now utility of research utility means the need or the use of research okay so what is the use of research so to gain interest so some people want to take interest in research so or some people are like that they don't want to take interest in research so while doing the research some people who are uninterested they get interest into the research to learn new things so because of this we can learn new things to secure problem solving skills so to get to know the problem solving skills to change yourself in sorry to challenge yourself in new ways so to challenge yourself that you can solve these difficult problems you can solve unsolved problems okay so yes so for example okay so to hone problem solving skills to challenge yourself in new ways is one of the most important use of the research so to hone yourself to hone problem solving skills to hone problem solving skills and there are other important uses of research as well okay so just remember these four points these few things whenever you are doing some work on utility of research so thank you for watching this video so if you have any queries then please ask me in the comment box and in the next video i am going to take about the types of research research